Rohde. Thank you. Thanks, Javid. Um, I'm Joy Rohde. I'm an associate professor of public policy and the director of Michigan's Science, Technology, and Society program here. Um, I'm a historian, and my work focuses on the relationship between the sciences and national security. But I wanted to ask you a question following um, this, this line. A number of students have questions about TikTok. Um, and you recently shared with lawmakers your concern that the app is a serious threat to U.S. national security. Um, legal and technology experts seem to have mixed views on the nature and especially the imminence of the threat. What do you see as the main threats posed by TikTok? And how do you think those are best addressed at a policy level? Well, uh, as I think I testified recently to Congress, I and mean, we do, we, the FBI, do have um, national security concerns uh, about the app. Uh, its uh, parent company is controlled by the Chinese government. Uh, and it gives them the potential to leverage the app in ways that I think should concern us. So what do I mean by that? Uh, you know, one, uh, it gives them the ability to control the recommendation algorithm, uh, which allows them to manipulate content and if they want to, to use it for, you know, influence operations, which are a lot more uh, worrisome in the hands of the Chinese Communist Party than whether or not you're steering somebody, you know, as an influencer to one product or another. Uh, it, they also have the ability to uh, collect data through it uh, on users, which can be used uh, for traditional espionage operations, for example. And they also have the ability uh, on it to get access uh, they have essentially access through the software to devices. So you're talking about millions of devices, and that gives them the ability to engage in different kinds of malicious cyber activity through that. Um, and so all of these things are in the hands of, uh, of a government that doesn't share our values uh, and that uh, has a mission that's very much at odds with, with what's in the best interest of the United States, that that, that should concern us. Um, as I mentioned before, the Chinese government uh, has shown a willingness to steal Americans' data on a scale that dwarfs any other. I mean, you look at the Equifax hack alone, uh, they stole the equivalent of half the population of the United States, you know, personal data. So the idea of entrusting that much data, that much uh, ability to shape content and engage in influence operations, that much access to people's devices, uh, in effect to that government is something that concerns us. How do we address it? Uh, you know, there's an interagency process. There's something called the CFIUS process, which is, stands for the Committee for Foreign Investment in the United States. That's involved. Uh, there may be agreements uh, that may be relevant to this, requirements and things like that. You know, whether or not there is something that could adequately address those concerns is, you know, a product of, uh, very much discussion, uh, you know, within the within the interagency, uh, but I think it starts with awareness about the risks. Thank you. I'll turn it over to Anne. Thank you very much.